Well, there we have it. I did wind up adding a turquoise because I have this turquoise and it matches the hat. <laughs> the turquoise color really matches the hat and it's not one that I wear. It was a pendant, but it's now a part of my hat. So I decided I did want to put some turquoise on it. And so this evening I'm wearing my whirling logs. In Native American culture, this is called whirling logs. It's not a swastika. So Germany took it. In India, they call it a swastik. This has been around for centuries. It means all the good things that are in the flow of the universe. So that's what the what this symbol actually means. And of course, the Germans took it and they have it going the other direction, the reverse direction than what the um, whirling logs go. So no, I am not a white supremacist. I am not wearing a swastika. I am wearing whirling logs. <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So I think it goes good with, if I'm wearing my, you know, kind of camo type stuff or a brown, you know, dress down type things. Um, not fancy. And uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Started working on it and I just, I like it the way it is with the, with all the burn burn things on it and stuff and then uh yeah you just can't see it so bright here not picking it up so well but uh yeah i did distress it all out there you can see some of the burn a little better right there okay there you go you can see it some of it there all distressed There we go. So you can see, yeah, uh, this hat was created by Bronco Sue. Bronco Sue got it in there. Custom hats. I'd like to see her face if she saw what I did to it. <laughs> What's a little different than when she gave it to me? But yeah, this is more me. You know, the... Uh, Batwing type thing is not me. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to see how it looks with the, you know, the camo and that type of stuff. And I could see this wearing it with just a jean top or something like that. Um, when I don't feel like wearing something really fancy like the other ones. Now the blue one, I'm thinking that I'll either do the burn pattern in it or uh, I'm still thinking about doing an Australian artwork on it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm kind of thinking about that. I like the Australian kind of psychedelic artwork and stuff. So I'm thinking about that. I might use this with it. This beaded, it kind of reminds me of that uh, Australian, you know, these kind of colors use it with that, with the, they use a lot of these, the yellow and orange and red, browns, so I think that would work well with the Australian type of uh, artwork to do on it. So I'm sitting with that and contemplating it, and I think that might be what I'm going to do with it. But I think you're right. I like this brim size. I don't think I want to take it down any more than that. I think it works well. It's, it's in proportion to the crown. So, yeah. Happy camper. <laughs> it's a little daunting when you start working on it, though you're lighting your hat on fire. Because it's still, it's still not a cheap hat, you know. 
I forget how much they were. It's a few hundred dollars. Each one of these hats is a few hundred. And that one was way more, more than these. Now these, what happens if you are distressing them and you're spraying them as well? Um, it helps to protect them from the rain. So that's something else. With these, it's not as rain, um, you know, as good in the rain as this. The beaver, this this beaver hat, you can wear it in the rain, everything, it won't, won't bother it at all because this is, you know, a lot of beaver, full beaver, okay? Whereas this one is not as much beaver as that, so yeah. So you can wear it in the rain, but I mean, you, you, you're a little more, um, it's, it doesn't hold up as well as that beaver will. So anyway, yeah, I think, I think I'm good. I'm done with it. I'm just going to leave it like this. It's got my little ermine tails here. You see the little tails? Little ermine tails. <laughs> it's my tail hat. And my turquoise, my turquoise, my bone, and the little ermine tails. And I think, I think we're good. I'm quite happy with, with what it is. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. And thank you for your feedback. People are saying they like it like it is. And I think so, too. I think it's just fun to have a distressed one that you can go out and, and you know, be out there and you don't care if it gets dirty. You don't care, you know. So, yeah, all good. So on that note, I'll leave that here and we'll see you online.